Hi, welcome here. We're at Jerry DeFuria's house here in uh, Clark, Southwest Washington, and we're doing a little bit of a tour to talk with our customers and find out what they think about us. Of course, it's a little bit of a biased us standing in front of you, but <laughs> yes. hey, we want to know for if you're on that side and interested in looking at our homes, what do people need to know? So when you were looking for a house, what were you looking for, Jerry? Looking for a tiny home, an ADU that we could, that I could live in and spend, you know, many years in. So I was looking for something that would be well built, uh, would be comfortable, have enough room for me, but I don't want it too big, and that was affordable. Um, looked a lot of places. Tell me, what, where research. else do you look? Because there's a few places out there. What what options are? Most of them were online. There were some tiny homes that are being built down in California. There was a few in Oregon. Yeah. But then when I looked into all of the regulations for having them, the other tiny homes, the manufactured ones, weren't going to be easy to be able to put on this property. Even if they might have been cheaper, they weren't going to work for me. Yes, the codes are kind of a big deal. And when you go out of state or find on Amazon, you're like, yes. what are you getting into? So you got to pay attention to those details. Absolutely. So I was just thinking of some questions to ask you. What about the process? What would you have done differently? You've been through this. It was kind of a pretty quick pace. How long did it take? Well, once we decided, it actually... It took us a few months to come to the decision to go with Oh, so you're saying it took longer to do the decision right. than to get the, the house done. The decision took like almost <laughs> six months. And it, it wasn't my decision. Everybody else was having, we should look at this, Mom. We should look at this. And I'm like, so let's family just go was with involved? Wolf Industries. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we had a lot of people putting their input into this. Because that's all and, the stuff that happens behind the scenes that we don't get. Yeah, you have to. no idea. Right? Everybody <laughs> has their own idea. And, it's probably and they're telling you to way. go into shipping containers. And I'm like, I am not living in a shipping container. <laughs> I don't care how good they make it look on TV. So, so when we finally came back to what I wanted was Wolf Industries, everybody goes, okay, let's do that. It was very quick. You guys were ready to go the next week. So so what was the timeline? What I think we set a record almost. Six was, weeks or something? Between decision. Between and, decision, <laughs> yes, and the time I actually got in. It may have been... A little one more week at him, but that was because of me. I wasn't in town to actually get the keys the day it was ready. Gotcha. <laughs> so I do remember this one. Yeah. It came off the line. The foundation was done, and we slipped right into into uh, place. You, yeah. Your city, Camas here, is incredible for getting permits. What was it? Two weeks and we had the approval. Two there? week permit, yes. Yeah. And that was another thing that was online about yeah. Camas saying how great it was to be able to get permits here. So yeah. so back to my first question yeah. of what would you do differently did we go too fast because sometimes that might be you know something to consider there that uh, there's so many decisions to make from cabinet choices to wall colors to trim like there's a lot of decisions that go in a house is there anything that you would have done differently that might have been the only thing was making was taking more time for some of those decisions so i don't regret the ones i made but we really? did those fast too we came in and both my daughter and I only had a limited amount of time. Everything had to be done in two and a half hours. So all the decisions for this <laughs> were done in two and a half hours. And we didn't have paint colors or anything when we went in. But fortunately, I had thought about a lot of it ahead of time. I mean, I did kind of know it had to be green. and you know, match, match the house. Match the house, right. And we knew what the color outside had to be. It so. tucks right in here nicely on the side of the house and it fit yes yeah. that was a big decision too actually it took a lot to figure out which way to have it face and have it angle but yeah it works out i felt very comfortable coming back in here <clears throat> so any other closing comments that you want to share with people when they are thinking about a wolf tiny house as a testimonial here well, I think it was a great idea. I mean, if that's what you're looking for, for me, it was perfect. I've always dreamed of living in a tiny house. But it's not for everybody, is it? It probably isn't. <laughs> Nothing is for everybody. There are some people that love to have big open space and they mm -hmm. want to, you know, walk a long ways to get to their bathroom and kitchen and all of that. But then me, we're all right there, close. So we're in Wall C. Is there enough space for you? Maybe one other person, maybe at times, or? Yes, actually, the Model C worked out good. We were looking at a Model B, but I think it would have been just a little bit too small. This one actually gives enough space. I don't need a lot of space. I don't have a couch at the moment. I'm really not missing that. I just need to work, and then I go to bed and yeah. cook some food. Yeah. Awesome. All the basics are here.
Well, thank you for putting in a couple two words for us at Wolf. <laughs> sure appreciate it. This is uh, great for future customers that want to know what we're doing here at Wolf. So again, thank, okay. thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thank you.